following one of the most exceedingly bad tropical storm seasons in years and record-setting precipitation in numerous regions of the nation, flooding has incurred significant injury on vehicles. It is critical for those considering the buy of an utilized vehicle to be car care mindful and check for indications of water interruption or pollution, says the Non-Benefit Car Care Council. Purchasing a used vehicle and later learning it has been flood damaged can be very problematic and lead to costly issues down the road. Worst yet these vehicles can be unhealthy to occupy because of mold and bacteria growing in the carpet and ventilation system, said Rich White, Executive Director, Car Care Council. The Car Care Council and the Car Care Professionals Network CCPN, a system of expert automotive specialist co-ops, say everything boils down to how much water the vehicle took in and where it can be come to and together prescribe finding a way to decide whether a vehicle has been flood damaged. Take the sniff test. Close every one of the windows and entryways and let the car sit for around 5 minutes at that point air out an entryway and sniff. Build up and form have exceptionally unmistakable scents and it doesn't take ache for that smell to present itself. Attempt the touch test. Get some paper towels and press them against the low spots in the carpet. The paper towels will draw the dampness out and uncover if the carpet is wet under the surface. A few carpets can be a few inches thick to protect from warmth and sound. On the off chance that the paper towel winds up noticeably wet it could mean water has gotten into the car. Examine the inside. Look under the seats and dash for erosion and rust and search for uncovered metal that is untreated. There are metal springs under the front seats that are generally not painted. On the off chance that they are rusted that is a sign the inside has been wet. Search for mud and flotsam and jetsam in places it doesn't have a place. Examine the instrument board. Turn on the key and play out a knob test. Ensure each knob illuminates. On the off chance that a framework has an issue, expelling the notice knob can shroud it. Commonly vehicles that have overwhelmed have glitches in their hostile to break and air pack frameworks. Guaranteeing the light goes ahead and after that goes out after the globule test is a pointer that the framework is on and has no dynamic deficiencies. Take it to an expert. Let an administration and repair specialist review your vehicle. They can raise the car and look underneath to check whether there is any mud, sticks or shakes in the suspension. An expert can check the oil in the differentials to ensure they contain no water in them. Spend a couple of dollars to have it glanced over to give you genuine feelings of serenity.